Hello Cancer, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at who or what is coming towards you in love and what can you expect next? Who might you be dealing with? Uh, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Cancer watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. All right, let's jump right in for the sign of Cancer. Spirit, angels, guides. What guidance messages do you have for Cancer regarding love? Cancer Collective. What do I need to know regarding love? Who or what is coming towards them, Spirit? Who or what is coming towards Cancer? Who or what is coming towards Temperance, Sagittarius energy, two of wands, and the seven of wands. Okay, so I sense that something has taken a while. And it's because either someone has to fight for something or they've been waiting to make a decision. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Isn't that what it always boils down to? Um, okay, and where is all this headed? Ten of cups. Okay, that's good. Nine of swords reverse. Okay, great. So far. And seven of cups okay so i do feel like this might be a decision situation like someone evaluating their options evaluating what choices they can make um how to make something happen imagining an outcome we'll see uh bottom of the deck and the overall energy is justice okay great energy here um libra energy things being made right things that are fair balanced um there could also be legal uh situation or matters that are being uh, worked on but with temperance here i'm getting that something is slowly coming together and being balanced for you when it comes to love or a particular partnership and i, I feel like this is because someone either has made a decision or has to make a decision we'll see what this two of wands is about actually before i clarify let me put down some energy oracles can I get some guidance, please? Some messages for Cancer. What is going on for them in love? What can Cancer expect in love relationship? Romantic, charming, and passionate. Confident, secure, and self-assured. Okay, so I, I'm getting that this is something, or at least this, these traits are like from someone that knows what they want. What else? What else do we need to know for Cancer? Peaceful, calm, and balanced. Can I get one more? What's going on for Cancer in love? What's going on for Cancer in love? happy bright and cheerful bottom of the deck open interesting you got all stellar rainbow oracles and then new beginnings after that okay so i get the sense that somebody knows what they want and more importantly needs to express it or communicate this to you um, in the form of a message a text something like that we'll see if anything else comes up when we clarify here but i feel like this is someone that already knows what they want and is very motivated on getting it this could also be how you feel towards someone um, you know there's a lot of romance or romantic feelings and maybe you're attracted to the fact that they're so confident um, but I just get the sense that for most of you this is somebody that's just very secure yeah there's the world I was just sh uh, shuffling here and showed itself to me and the knight of wands exactly what I'm talking about Knight of Wands in the world, what what would that mean, right? Well, if you're new to tarot, you're probably like, why don't you tell me? But Knight of Wands is someone that goes after things, is very passionate, fiery, motivated, takes action, very active person. Um, and typically they do things very quickly because they're just so passionate and motivated. And the world is all about new beginnings, right? Endings and new beginnings. So it's almost like someone knows exactly what they want with this world and just wants to go after it. And there's the fool. I was just, just gonna, where is it? Ah, I missed it. Anyways, it was showing itself to me. I think it was at the bottom of the deck and I totally missed it. Okay, 
So let's clarify with this justice card first, because this is the overall energy. Tell me more about justice for the sign of cancer. Tell me more about justice. The star, Aquarius energy. What else? What else can you tell me about justice? I feel like this is going to give you hope or give someone hope. Or they have hope for justice. Six of Swords and the Hangman. So I, I, again, I get the sense that someone has been kind of hanging about, taking their time. Things have been slow. And it's possibly somebody needing to leave a situation, Six of Swords, or head towards somebody, you know, like make a move towards someone. But the Six of Swords is very uh, distinctly a card about traveling away. You're leaving something behind. That's why your back is turned, right? Like that's typically the Six of Swords. So I almost get the sense that somebody here was kind of waiting around and planning their departure or hesitating on making this departure. But I feel like it's going to happen because uh, once again, I get this. Well, Justice is telling me that something's being made right or there's the potential for something to be balanced, fair to you. And Temperance is all about reaching that perfect balance. So let's see what this Temperance card is about. What is Temperance doing here? Tell me about Temperance. Does somebody just wake up from a nap? What 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 message? I get the weirdest messages sometimes. Okay, Ten of Wands, Page of Swords. I see. I feel like a message. Yep, Knight of Swords. A message is very important here. Uh, someone wants to talk things out. I feel, especially with the Ten of Wands, discuss something that's on their mind. Literally, they it's on their mind. They could even be dreaming about it because I just had that message with somebody like, I picture somebody waking up from a nap. <laughs> okay, let me not focus too much on that. Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Page of Pentacles and the death card. Once again, this decision is based off of an ending of or a departure of some sort, Scorpio energy. A judgment at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone's making a judgment call here. And going after something new. Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Ace of Swords and Three of Wands. Yeah, see, it's like somebody was waiting around or had to wait for this breakthrough, Ace of Swords, for this communication. Maybe someone sent a message waiting to hear back. Maybe somebody was blocked or resisted or uh, the message was delayed in some way. I'm just going to look at these. I'm going to put them back. But Eight of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Knight of Wands. Look at this energy. Cancer, there you are with the Chariot. So again, the Knight of Wands shows itself again with the Chariot. So I'm thinking fast, movement. I'm thinking someone that knows where they're headed and wants to move there quickly. With the Eight of Pentacles, this is someone that's been working on something, focused, has put in some sort of effort. So Cancer, whoever this is, they've actually put in effort. The Knight of Wands is not somebody that sits around and waits for things to happen. The Knight of Wands takes action. So if you're dealing with someone that in the next couple of weeks here, if, this, if you don't hear from this person or you don't notice this person taking any sort of action, this isn't your reading. I feel like this is somebody that's really making some sort of decision here that's like, it's going to cause events or changes to happen, especially with Death card here and the Six of Swords with the Chariot. If someone's leaving, you will know or they will tell you. Let me see what this Ace of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Page of Swords. Wow, look at this, Two of Cups. So it's like somebody wants to talk about a connection, a partnership, and there's a Two of Wands. I've made my decision. I have decided to do something, or um, this is the path I want to go on. Now that something has ended in my life, or something has changed for me, I'm ready to choose a path here. And, you know, and maybe they've kept you waiting, or something like that. 
So where's all of this headed in the near future? I want to look at the Seven of Cups. I feel like this is the most important card down here. And the Ten of Cups, of course. But the Seven of Cups to me, it's almost like there's some sort of action that's coming out of this. So let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Two of Wands. Okay, so it's tied to this decision. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Justice. Oh yeah, this is all connected. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. What do we need to know about the Seven of Cups? Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like someone, yeah, and there's the balance again. Six of Pentacles, equal give and take. So when I see here with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Wands and Justice is that this is, there's options I feel that are opening up because of someone's decision. Someone made an important decision, a judgment call here. Okay, Eight of Swords, so there's the Queen of Cups. And I feel like they're thinking about the person they care about when they make this decision. I feel like this wasn't an easy decision. Maybe that's why the Seven of Cups is here and the Nine of Swords is reversed. Almost like they overcame a fear or anxiety. Let's see. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Reverse. Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Why is the Nine of Swords reverse? Ace of Wands. Hmm. Can I get one more, please? The Devil. Capricorn Energy. There's the Knight of Wands again. So I think someone has overcome their fear to go after this new beginning. Something was holding this person back. This could be you, Cancer, but I feel like for most of you, this is the person that is coming into your life. And this doesn't necessarily have to be someone you already had a connection with. This could be somebody that sees you and decides to make a certain change in their life or meets you, excuse me, and decides to make a certain change in their life to be with you, to approach you, to make some sort of offer to you, to talk to you. It could be that this person like literally moves for you. Um, can I get one more for the Seven of Wands? I just want to know if there's any other obstacles here other than like fear and this uh, departure. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Queen of Swords. Okay, uh, Page of Cups. Okay, some sort of communication here. So I, again, um, we had the Ace of Swords that was here before. Let me just put these back. Um, so a, a, uh, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, it's almost like someone has something to tell you, but they've waited to, to, to discuss it. Maybe because they've been busy with other things. Others of you, this could be somebody that is trying to talk to you, but you're resisting or have blocked them or don't really know if you want to respond. So this could be like an apology. Um, if this is someone new, like let's say you've never actually, you know, had a relationship with this person, but you know of each other, maybe you talk to each other. I feel like this person has been waiting and fighting back there, like fighting against the way they feel, resisting their feelings for you. And that's why it's taken some time because maybe they are waking up to the fact that they have these feelings because the two of cups is here with the page of swords. And when I clarify the page of swords with the ace of swords, what do they want to talk about? What's this truth or communication in regards to? It's a two of cups. So it's almost like they have a, um, a strong connection with you. And that's part of what they want to talk about. But this has not been easy. Death. What's this death card about? Death is here to tell me that this decision, either there, there was an ending tied to this decision. Maybe the decision was to end or change something. Why is death here? Why is death here? I just got so sleepy. Eight of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. So it's, this is something that someone was working towards, having this ending or change. It's going to give them a Ten of Cups. And yeah, I feel like with this Five of Swords, the word I heard was battle. It's been, it's been a battle. Someone has had to fight for this and make an effort to do this. Um, I also get the sense that if this is someone that is new coming into your life, uh, Cancer, I feel like maybe their past connection wasn't great. Maybe they're recently out of a connection that ended or... 
I feel like they've been to war, or, you know, or it's like they've had to have some serious struggles before they were able to get to you. Let's see, what's this Ten of Cups? Oh, tell me about this Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Why is this Ten of Cups here? Eight of Swords. Why is High Priestess and the Ace of Cups. Oh yeah, this person was totally hiding their feelings for you. They were totally hiding their feelings for you out of fear. Maybe they were stuck in a situation, but it doesn't change the fact that they kept this to themselves or they buried their feelings or they just secretly loved you. It's like this person has had a secret crush on you or <laughs> um, secret feelings for you, something like that. Let's get some more insight into who this person might be. Spirit, what can you tell us about this particular person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Cancer is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? Okay, one more about this person. The moon reverse. The secret is out. Pisces energy. Four of cups reverse. A change of heart and judgment reverse. I think this person has changed their mind about you. There's the hermit. Virgo energy. Maybe they've found some sort of enlightenment when it comes to how they feel about you. Maybe they've been thinking about you as they're in their little solitary journey or whatever it is that they're doing right now. Um, I feel like this person, after doing a lot of self-reflection, has had a change of heart. Pisces energy with the moon. And let me grab Stellar Soulmate. Can we get some more insight into this person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards cancer? I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. Oh yeah, this person has totally been hiding how they feel. I pretend that everything is okay, but inside I'm hurting. Yeah, this person has been pretending and holding back and resisting these feelings. But I want to be very clear, Cancer. What has shown in the what the cards have shown is that this is someone that's willing to do something about that. Okay, if you're dealing with a person who's been like 